Well, I've got a little bit of uh, preheat treat straightening to do. So these, all these knives, they've all been uh, finished for, up to heat treat standard. And the last thing I would do before I heat treat them is make sure they're all flat. So I want them all to be flat like that. So for that, I'm sure I've showed it in the past, but I've got a piece of uh, half inch plate, plate glass here. And uh, I can see there's quite a bit of rocker on this one. That side it feels as though it's flat, but it's arched. Turn it over and you can hear it quite clearly. So uh, I'll show you how I straighten these and what I do to minimise warping during the heat treatment process. Right, so this is this is what I do. I've got a half ton arbor press, only a small arbor press, a uh, piece of uh, four mil steel. So I put the the knife with the, uh, the warp facing uppermost, so it's sort of it's warping like that. Uh, and then I know roughly where the apex of the warp is. Most of the time it's right opposite where the logo's gone in because there's been a lot of pressure applied, 10 tons of pressure, and it's spread the metal basically and caused all sorts of internal stresses there. Uh, and sometimes drilling the handle holes can cause it as well. Um, so a good... Uh, a good wang in with the with the right arm in the area of the warp apex and I find having the, uh, the steel backing means that you can't well you, you can still overdo it but it's a lot harder to overdo it if I don't use that and just use it straight down it all uh, it's very touch and go it's very touchy you can't quite dial it in and get it spot on but with that backing for some reason you're able to do it so let's go back to the flat plate and see what it's like right still a slight amount of rocker there but it's a lot better no rocker that side so we've got a slight amount of rock and where is it actually there was some there but that's flat now there is a little bit of rock in the middle of the handle so I'm going to go back and just give it a bit tweak in the middle of the handle and then uh, check it again on closer inspection on the flat plate there was still a little bit of a warp on the blade close to the tip so I'm going to work on that and then I'm going to bring it back again and work on the handle area and go and see what it's like so there we are make sure we're nice and clean just get a bit of that of dust on there I think get it clean, get it all if you get the slightest bit of grit underneath it that will uh, make it rock as well so there we are That is perfect now. So it's nice and flat. No rocker on it. Uh, the next stage now is to uh, run what's called a strain relieving cycle in the in the kiln. So here we are at the kiln. I load, I load the kiln right up as many blades as I can cram into there because this is a strain relieving cycle. For a strain relieving cycle. I heat the uh, the kiln to about 670 degrees centigrade and I hold it at that temperature for about an hour. In they go. Uh, on this kiln of mine I've got um, memories programmed into it. So it's just a matter of uh, recalling the memory and letting it run through. In there, I've also got a mixture of uh, stainless blades SF100 and uh, O1 
carbon steel blades and for the for the for the strain relieving so called it doesn't matter you can mix and match uh, but obviously for the hardening process that's much different for those two steels so they'll be done separately but uh, that's it the kiln's now running that strain relieving cycle you can't avoid it you're always going to put strain and stresses hidden stresses into the steel when you machine it when you drill it when you grind it and when you stamp it you've moved metal you've heated metal up you've cooled it down uh, and all that puts hidden stresses into the steel and those stresses will always find the find their way out when you quench the blade and this this ends up then in a in a warp blade sometimes in a severely warp blade so this will reduce warping it won't completely stop it but it will help it will help warping uh, during the, the quench of the blade so that that's it I hope that's been a help to somebody just a quick tip from the jack law workshop